Hey everybody, I wanted to talk today about compatibility of sidesteps. This is a brand new product that we launched today and the compatibility can get a little bit confusing so I figured it'd be good if we just kind of talk through it. And since I can't have a conversation with each one of you, I'm in front of my whiteboard in my office and I'm going to try to walk through it very clearly and obviously. One of the things that we really wanted to do when we designed these sidesteps was make them backwards compatible, if you will, to Revels and Storytellers and some other vehicles. And the way we achieved that is that we made our mounting bracket very similar to the mounting bracket on a Revel, which means that uh, for a DIY van, you're basically gonna mount with brackets that are similar to a Revel. And uh, if you already have a Revel, then you use part of our bracket for your system, allows it to bolt right up. Now for Storyteller, it's a little more complicated, but I'm gonna try to go through it in detail here right now. So let's start with uh, option one, which is a DIY slash custom van. Sorry, if you can't read Chicken Scratch, then I suggest you start reading your child's writing so you can read what I write because it's kind of scribbly. Anyway, DIY vans uh, are what we kind of call a uh, brand new sprinter, a naked sprinter, one that doesn't have an RV build out in it yet. That is gonna get our bracket kit that we manufacture. It actually looks like this. You get a bunch of these. It's a super robust plate. Uh, it installs uh, to the pinch weld and the inside of the unibody. And then this is the adapter bracket that's gonna work uh, in conjunction with this to actual, actually mount the steps. So if you are a DIY van, you're gonna get all of those. Now, if you're a custom built van, uh, you'd also wanna order that. The only caveat I wanna say is we can never know how a custom builder built your van. And so I don't know what gray water tanks are under there. I don't know what black water tanks, etc. I don't know if there's a heater in the way. So <clears throat> look under your van, uh, basically the side of a van uh, looking, if you were to cut a van in half, uh, right down the middle, what you would be looking at is a shape kind of like um, the back of a van. Here's the pinch well. This comes down like this. So here's the outside of the van and then under here is where you have like your drive shaft and 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 differential and axles and all that stuff um this is cut like this so uh, our brackets attach basically something like this they attach here they come out and then they also connect to this pinch weld and so you've got bolts that go in here riv nuts that go into the unibody and then it also bolts here through the pinch weld so what you need to worry about is in that cavity under, actually, let me redraw this. In this cavity under here, people like to put things like water tanks, etc. So if you have a water tank that goes all the way across like this, sometimes you can slip this bracket in between there. And if it's just one bracket, you'll probably be fine not bolting it into the unibody of the van. But if it's all the brackets, you're going to want to have to, um, you're going to have to, excuse me, probably drop that tank it's not the end of the world. Install the side steps and then put the tank back in place. The good thing is this is fairly thin, so you can usually squeeze any tanks by it uh, if you need to. So this is why the DIY is a little bit more expensive than our Revel kit, because it gets all of the additional brackets. And these things actually have a shocking amount of uh, time, effort, and welding in them. They're not cheap. So that's that. Now we can go on to Revel. If you have a Revel 2021 to present, you're good. Now it's a little bit less expensive of a kit because we include these, not the entire bracket, because you're gonna leave, it's actually incredibly easy. This one you may, if you're not really handy, you're probably gonna wanna consult a professional because that is something where it's gonna take a fair amount of, of, of drilling and rib nutting and bolting, etc. This one, Revel 21, to present really uh, simple. Might be time consuming. I don't know what the overall time involved to do it is, but it's all straightforward stuff. It's bolting and unbolting. You're gonna replace Rebel brackets with these, put our side steps on top and bolt everything up. The cool thing is the part that's on your van, the more complicated part to install is gonna be retained in a 2021 Rebel and on. Now we move on to Rebel 2020. This is actually probably true of the 2019 as well. But I don't have a 2019 Rebel here. So I'm going to be talking about the 2020. I believe the 2019 would be similar. 
but I cannot guarantee that because I haven't looked at it myself. And the reason I'm talking about this on a Revel, look at this beautiful picture of a Sprinter van. Look at that, fancy. All right, so we have wheels here, wheels here. I might splice in some video footage here from a video I just took, but basically in this area here, you've got your AGM battery system. Now this is not there in a 2021, this gets moved inside the van in the garage area. A lot of folks with the 2019s or the 2020s like myself have replaced this AGM system with a lithium system from Romerig that mounts all your batteries here. That makes this area empty. Now you've still got bracketry there. Okay. And the problem is our side steps are not compatible with that bracketry. So this unbolts from the van and would have to be removed. And then you would have to install a bracket like this. That's a little bit more complicated than bolt on. So for a Revel 2020, we don't really allow people to order it off the site. We're gonna ask you to talk to our customer service reps so they can walk through everything with you. They're here uh, all week. It shouldn't be hard to get a hold of them. And they just wanna make sure that you understand what's involved with mounting this because at OWL, um, I care a lot less about the sale and more about the customer experience for you. And if you get a product and it's not gonna work for you, uh, we all lose. So we definitely wanna to, want to intervene here before you order the product if you have a 2020 Rebel uh, or a 2019 Rebel. Now we're gonna move on to storytelling. Storyteller. All storytellers are VS30 because they never made an NCV3, with the exception of Mr. Jeffrey Hunter, who has what I believe is the only NCV3 storyteller in existence. But as far as I know, they never manufactured them. So we're only talking about VS30s. And their side steps use a completely different system, and they don't uh, have lithium batteries where the side steps are, etc. We want to make a bolt on system for storyteller. What's involved with the installation for storyteller? We will come out with uh, installation videos as we go for the vehicle specific stuff. But with Storyteller, you're gonna have to move some brackets. So you're gonna uh, retain some brackets that are on the van now. So uh, again, with my wonderful illustration skills of this Storyteller. Storyteller, don't get mad at me. This is, this is what I've got. I put in the headlights so you may make sure it looks even more, more like a van. This is a beautiful beast mode and you've got brackets here and here and if we're looking at the driver's side, that's all you've got because on a, on a uh, Storyteller, you've only got the tread plate for the uh, driver to get in. Now our steps are much longer. So what's gonna happen with that is this front bracket is gonna be need to be unbolted and moved back. Uh, I don't know how many inches off the top of my head, but that will need to get moved back. Then back here, we're gonna supply you with one of our brackets that's gonna come out here and that's gonna allow that great looking and functional full length step. On the passenger side, it's gonna be similar to this, but we're gonna reutilize the brackets you already have on there. We're only gonna possibly have to relocate that front bracket. Why are we relocating that front bracket? If I do a top-down view, this is the shape of our side step. If you're looking from the sky down, you've got the long inner tube, you've got a, law, a larger tread area for the driver to step on, and then you've got the rear section. Now, the reason you're gonna to have to relocate that front bracket is the, the factory storyteller front step is generally a rectangle. And you've got your two brackets here and they're covered. But with our uh, side steps, in my opinion, they look a little bit sleeker, but that angle on the front of that step actually is gonna cause that bracket underneath to stick out the front. It's just gonna aesthetically look bad. So what we do is we unbolt that bracket, um, move it back slightly, and then the brackets end up here under the driver area, and then we have our bracket that we add back here, and three brackets for that is enough uh, to be functional. On the driver, so excuse me, on the passenger side, you're gonna do something similar. So you may be asking yourself as we launch this product, and depending on how long this video sticks around for, why is a stow kit not available right now? Well, if we draw that same, in a little more detail, that same side step here, Okay, here's a tread plate in this area here. And the problem is when you move those brackets, you're gonna to need to drill some holes in the top back of that tread plate. Now we're gonna incorporate those holes into the tread plate 
right off the bat in future models. That's why here on our website, we have coming soon. That is because those holes are not drilled. Now, if you have a strong desire to get these on your storyteller, you can, it's just gonna be a little more work. The ones, the, the uh, uh, side steps we have in stock right now do not have these holes drilled. So you would simply have to mount the side step, re relocate the bracket, drill up through the hole in the bracket to create that hole in the tread plate to bolt through and you'd be done. Drilling thin aluminum, we're talking about maybe 30 seconds a hole. So not a tremendous amount of added work, but because we want this kit to kind of be bolt on plug and play, as much as humanly possible, uh, we felt like putting that as coming soon on the website was a better user experience. Uh, hopefully you agree with it. If not, if you're one of those storyteller people that really, really wants to get these on your vehicle now and not wait for the next batch to get made, reach out to our customer service and uh, that's service at Owl Vans, or you can call our main line and just select technical support or customer service and the team will get you taken care of. So I just wanna do this video. It's a little bit on the longer side. Hopefully I touched upon the installation for your specific vehicle and what is entailed in doing that. So you go into this eyes wide open. At the end of the day, we absolutely love these side steps. I think they're gorgeous, obviously biased, but hopefully you think they're uh, as good looking as we do and more importantly, as functional as we do. And you're able to add them to whatever van you go adventure with. Thanks for listening to this video and hopefully you can place your order soon. Ha, ha, ha.